Hello, Orchid friends. Welcome back to my channel. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day, staying healthy, and staying safe. Today, we're looking at this grocery store Phalaenopsis orchid. Coming up, let's first take a look at its last year's video. It gave me three blooms last year. This is a grocery store Phalaenopsis. It never came with a name tag, so I really don't know what it's called. However, uh, quite a few subscribers um, wrote to me and say that they have this variety that looks really similar to this, and it's called Taiwan Peacock. So I think I'm just going going to believe them because I also did a quick online research, and some of the photos I saw also look very similar to the blooms here. So last year, it was obviously giving me three blooms, having lots of aerial roots, and um, it was in the semi-hydro setup. At the time, I was really on the fence whether I want to repot this orchid or not because if you look at the container, the bottom of it, especially the portion under the reservoir, under the drainage hole, there were roots already. So. This orchid was really doing okay, but if you look at the amount of area roots, not huge amount by by any means, but it's enough to to make me feel like I wanted to give it a repot because it was just taking a lot of horizontal space. So in the end, I did, and this is um, after the repot, after I had done the repot, just to kind of give you a sense of what it looked like, and. This is maybe a couple weeks after the repot. Nothing was quite reaching. There was one root that was reaching the bottom, but you could tell that this workhead was trying to get used to trying to get used to the new container, the new, um, I guess, the the repot. So it was quickly putting out new root, and then above the media, you can also see it was trying to put out at least three or four uh, new roots. Actually, more than that. <laughs> It, and at the bottom, there were two yellowing leaves. Those were natural, because they it, it took it took them like maybe four or five weeks to completely yellow yellowed out the the bottom leaves. So it was completely normal aging process. Now this is this year's current um, bloom cycle. For some reason, I could not find any video or photo footage of this orchid putting out spike and producing buds either I took photos of them and then I just didn't save them or <laughs> because this orchid never really produced any huge result meaning more than five bloom count and it's not fragrant so maybe I just decided that I don't want to do too much to it too much with it until it started to bloom either or I can't remember honestly but overall though, I think this orchid is a very hardy orchid. And the reason I say that is sometimes I would give it a quarter cup of water. Sometimes I gave it one eighth of a cup, depending on whether I see any moisture or darker color of the pebbles toward the bottom third of the cup. And sometimes I skip it completely because if I feel like this orchid isn't going to need water for that particular watering cycle, I skip it. And this orchid still do just fine every single year. Because um, for some reason, this orchid doesn't always give me that wet dry, no, seven day wet dry cycle. Most of my orchids, almost every single one of them, like based on the, I, I know them already, so I know exactly the amount of water that each one of them needs for that week, that seven day. But this orchid, um, I tried it for with one eighth of a cup. Sometimes this orchid will be so dry. Sometimes it, it, it would still have a little bit of moisture at the bottom. I just feel like this orchid, um, it's it's not quite consistent. When it comes to the, like the, the the watering, I guess the the need for moisture, the need for water, it's not consistent. So I do have to kind of just you know sometimes before I water it, I take it out of the pot, um, out out of the cup, uh, out of the blue cup, just to have a look. I just wish this orchid is fragrant because it it just looked like it should have fragrance, but for some reason it doesn't. So it's kind of a bummer. 
Um, but other than that, this orchid's blooms are really um, cute in a in a festive way. You know, yellow background with that color, the red color in the middle. Um, every time I look at this orchid, it makes me. It reminds me of. Um, say like Chinese New Year where you know the red color is more pronounced in everything right and then the yellow is also a very auspicious color in Chinese culture in Asia culture um, so yeah it's a bummer but this orchid is relatively a reliable bloomer last year three bloom this year four bloom and in fact I went back to my older files of this orchid um, when I purchased it, I think it had four blooms or three blooms with one bud to open, but that I, I just remembered that the last bud never didn't make it. So to begin with, this orchid had never had more than five blooms um, in, in one sitting. And I think that that's just how how this orchid is. But that's okay. Um, now, after the repot, it continued to grow, grow more roots and so I every time I, I see that the roots are long enough I try to press it down to kind of help the roots grow into the media and that's why you kind of see that this orchids seemingly um, to be a little higher than most orchids and it's not because you know it's potted high it's just because um, after the repot it continued to grow more area roots and then older leaves die off so I just kind of keep pushing down the roots to train it to grow into the cup and that's why this orchid kind of looks like it's kind of just kind of too high um, if next year it continues to bloom I think I will continue to keep it in this container without doing a repot but I'll have to keep you posted because at some point I remember thinking to myself that I would like to um, get this one out of the semi-hydro setup and, and try the traditional setup for a change just to see if this orchid actually do um, does even better um, because I mean its bloom performance has been consistently low <laughs> three to four maybe five blooms but um, I want to see if I do some changes and see if this orchid would you know do better but all in all, I think this orchid is still enjoyable and I think it would still have a place in my collection. Um, it's not a difficult to find orchid. I tend to find it from time to time at a local grocery store. So if you are interested, keep your eye out for one. You should be able to find one. This is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to get more orchid related videos from my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification. I want to wish you happy growing and I will talk to you in my next video. Ciao!